Hi, my name is Jeff Castles and I'm a Regional Sales Manager with Pulsar Measurement. Hi, I'm Adrian, also a Regional Sales Manager with Pulsar Measurement. Today, we're going to talk about level measurement applications within the wastewater industry. We particularly want to highlight the problems associated with obstructions within the wet well, which can very often cause unreliable readings. The obstructions could be chains, guide rails, the tops of pumps, fat buildup, benching, to name but a few. Pulsar Measurement has developed a technique to overcome these issues. This technique makes use of our advanced echo discrimination software and is known as Datum. This is embedded in all of Pulsar ultrasonic and radar systems and requires the adjustment of just one parameter, parameter 21. To demonstrate this, we will carry out what has become known as the briefcase dance. To demonstrate this, we are using a DB6 6 meter range ultrasonic transducer coupled with our latest Ultra 4 transceiver. You can see on the floor the DB6 transducer is positioned and it's actually firing through the briefcases which represent the fixed obstructions to the bottom briefcase which represents the empty level. On the screen you can see the echo profile coming back from the Ultra 4 which shows the distinct echoes from all of the briefcases. So let's have a look at the echo profile. If I explain this here is the top of the well, i.e. where the transducer is located. Along the bottom you see numbers which represent distance away from the transducer in metres. The red line indicates the true echo coming back from the transducer. The first peak represents the first briefcase, as does the second and the third. However, the fourth peak represents the true empty level. As Jeff mentioned previously, the true echo is at a distance of around 3.1 metres. What I'm now going to do is access parameter 21, which will then ask me to enter the relevant distance, which I will do as 3.1 metres. It's now setting that distance, it's looking for the echo around about that level and all should be good. We can now see the distance has gone to 3.13 metres. So, Aid has entered parameter 21 at 3.1 metres, and you can see here how this blue line indicates that we are locked onto the level of the water at 3.1 metres. However, in a wet well, the level never remains constant and always moves. So, if I can simulate the water level moving by bringing up the water level here, you will now see that the Locks on distance will change. It takes a few moments for this to happen, but you can now see we are now locked onto an echo much closer to the transducer because this is where the water is. If we bring the water level even further up, you'll see that change again, and we will actually lock onto this level somewhere around about here. Again, it takes a moment or two to change, but there we go, we are now locked onto the level. The water will then recede as we pump down, back down to the original level and you can now see that the water level has, has receded and we will now lock onto the true level again much lower in the well. And the way we've done that is we have datumed out all the unwanted echoes so that they are never considered as the true echo in the future. This demonstrates that pulsar measurement, ultrasonic and radar systems can provide reliable performance even in these most challenging applications. And this capability is built into all pulsar instruments. Thank you. I hope you found this useful. And to see our full product range, please visit our website pulsarmeasurement.com.